What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We got some baseball highlights for today is the 2018 MLB All-Star Game between the AL and the NL. And let's jump right into things. Let's take a look at the lineups for the American League at catcher Gary Sanchez, first base Logan Morrison, second base Jose Altuve, third base Zach Cozart, shortstop Francisco Lindor, the outfield is Justin Upton, Mike Trout, Mookie Betts, Aaron Judge, dh in with Carlos Carrasco. For the National League, Buster Posey playing catcher Joey Votto at first base. Second base is Scooter Jeanette. Third base, Nolan Arenado. Corey Seager playing shortstop. The outfield is Christian Yelich, Lorenzo Cain, and David Peralta. Freddie Freeman is doing the DH honors. Zach Greinke is the pitcher. And that is the lineup for the 2018 Summer Classic. Like I said, Carlos Carrasco, Indians pitcher, getting a start for the American League. Diamondbacks pitcher Zach Granke will take the mound for the National League. Top of the first inning, Granke, two outs facing Mike Trout. He's going to pop up to the shortstop. And Zach Granke gets through the first inning clean. Carlos Carrasco, however, would not have the same fortune as Lorenzo Cain leads off the game with a double down the right field line. So Cain leads off the game with a double. That would bring his Milwaukee Brewer teammate Christian Yelich to the plate. And he's going to ground out to the second baseman, but it gets Cain over to third base with only one away, bringing up Joey Votto from the Reds. And he's going to do a 6-3 ground out, but it does score the run. So RBI ground out one nothing National League. So bottom of the second though, two out Scooter Jeanette. Carlos Carrasco gets through the second inning without any trouble. Clayton Kershaw on to pitch the third for the National League. And he'll be facing Justin Upton of the Angels to get the first single for the American League here in the top of the third. A couple batters later, Jose Altuve swinging strike three, but he's going to beat it out on a wild pitch, so we have two runners on. That would bring up Mookie Betts, but he does the same thing, only the catcher gets the ball there, retires the side nationally, does not score. Bottom of the third, Carrasco stayed in there for a third or uh, for the third inning, we were pretty surprised that he stayed in and he paid for it dearly there. David Peralta, 400-foot bomb, puts the National League up 2 to nothing in the bottom of the third. Steven Strasburg on to pitch the fourth for the National League. He's going to be facing off against Mike Trout. 0 for 1, this time he's going to get a double. Just stays fair on the right field line. And that would set up Gary Sanchez of the Yankees. Going to single back up the middle. Hard hit. Trout rounds third. Gets the wave. And they score. So the American League finally on the board here. 2-1 in the top of the fourth inning for Gary Sanchez. Corey Kluber on to pitch the bottom of the fourth for the American League. So Indians pitchers. The first two in the game for the American League. And unfortunately, he would suffer the same kind of fate as Carrasco. Joey Votto takes him deep. And it's just a moonshot into the bullpen. 3-1 lead for the National League in the bottom of the fourth inning. And just like that, the um, National League starting to try to pull away here. Let's fast forward to the top of the seventh. And that is Zach Cozart singling with two outs and a runner on. So the National League has the go-ahead run at the plate with two outs. And that is Miguel Cabrera pinch hitting. That's going to drop in there. And for some reason with two outs, they, they're not hustling as much. But Francisco Lindor does end up scoring on that. He probably should have scored a lot easier than that. So three to two. With two outs, though, Brian Dozier giving it a ride. Looking at first like it was going to be out of here. 
but not quite. As you can see, the Lorenzo Cain makes the beautiful play. I mean, not necessarily hard. It looked harder um, from far away than it actually is, but Doolittle is excited, and the American League hold the lead. Blake Trennan, the first A. We have two, two Oakland A's made the All-Star team. This is the first one. Reliever Blake Tren uh, Trennan was our closer to start the year, started struggling. We moved him to the setup role, and he's been killing it ever since. We'll show you his seventh inning here since he is a member of our Oakland A's. Gets the first guy to pop out in foul territory. Next batter is Scooter Jeanette. Gives it a ride, but that's no trouble. Four trout in center field. Two down. Two two count. And he's actually going to give up a base hit here. Trout does a very good job of keeping in front of him. But Peralta has two hits on the day for the American League there. But Buster Posey goes down swinging and Trennan gets through a clean seventh for the A's. Representing us pretty well there. So let's fast forward now to the top of the eighth. George Springer fresh in the game. And look at that moonshot. It is out of here. Ties this one up in the top of the eighth. 3-3. 410 foot bomb to center field Man, it would be nice to have him uh, In Oakland, but unfortunately he plays for our rival Astros But nonetheless he does tie the game here in the American League now Second A to make the all-star game Marcus Simeon Does not do a good job in his first appearance. There is That's a three unassisted ground out bottom eighth Alex Colomay for the Rays pitching and he's going to get through that inning as we go to the ninth, tied at three. Kenley Jansen in for the Dodgers, former reliever of the year, having a great season. Top of the 11th, Jose Abreu. DH in as he replaced Aaron Judge later in the game, leads off with a single. And the go ahead run is on base as we go to. As like I said, we are in extra innings now. Wilson Ramos draws a walk, so two on. Nobody out for Jensen in a little bit of trouble. That would bring Marcus Simeon to the plate for the A's, having a second chance to play hero for us. And he goes down swinging, so 0 for 2. Not repping us very well. Later in the inning, Tim Beckham with runners on the corners, two outs. Chance to play hero as well, but he grounds out. So we go to the bottom of the 12th now. Aaron Sanchez, the starter, into pitch because it went to extras. He gets uh, the first two but ends up or walking. Very next batter, however, though, going to be saved. And the National League does not score. Let's go top of the 13th. Jose Abreu again. And it should have been a ground out, but Starlin Castro just air mails it. Instead, Abreu goes to second. That would bring up Wilson Ramos. Singles right back up in the middle. But Abreu is going to be held up at third because he is a pretty slow runner. But there is runners on the corners. And that brings up Marcus Simeon again. This time, he's going to get it through. Abreu scores in the American League. Takes a 4-3 lead. In the top of the 13th off of a Marcus Simeon RBI single. And we have a chance to do more damage here. Michael Brantley drops one into center field. And the runner, being only one out, had to make sure to drop. So he only gets the third. Tim Beckham looking to break it open completely with the bases loaded. Grounds into an inning ending 4-6-3 double play. That would bring on Ken Giles to try to shut the door for the American League. ERA of 1.06 on the season. So if anybody can do it, it's him. Buster Posey is his first opponent. And he gets him out. Striking out. Swinging there. Next batter, Adam Eaton. 4-3 ground out. Beckham makes the play. So down to the final out for the National League here in the bottom of the 13th. And he's going to strike him out. And the National League loses this one. The American League picks up the win. Aaron Sanchez gets credited with the win. K 
Ken Giles gets the save. Marcus Simeon of our Oakland Athletics comes through in the clutch to deliver a game-winning RBI in the top of the 13th inning. Very proud of both of our A's. Trennan pitched a very good 7th inning. Only gave up the one hit. And then, like I said, Simeon was the hero in this one with that go-ahead RBI single in the top of the 13th inning. Aaron Sanchez gets the All-Star Game MVP. Uh, also picks up the win. Not that it matters in the All-Star Game, but, you know. And Giles gets the save as well. Springer had a home run for the American League. RBIs otherwise by Sanchez and Simeon. And Abreu and Joey Votto. Home run for the National League Peralta 2 for 5. Probably their best player. And uh, Kenley Jansen just kind of blew it. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. If you want to enjoy it, please do leave a like down below. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any more A's franchise videos. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Till next time, peace.